We're gonna spice up this giveaway because both Throttle and Premium are actively <laughs> pursuing 200,000 subscribers. I got the stuff. I gotta carry them. You ready to start the day, Christian? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Oh, there's a camera. Woo, super blown out. Okay. Okay, got it back in focus, but my eyes are still closed because it's super, super bright outside. Starting the vlog a little later today. Uh, it is 12.45. We had our first drop off. Well, actually, first drop off for the vlog. We've already got three cars done. What's up, Hefe? What up? All right, so this one right here came from Four Wheel Parts. Four Wheel Parts is a new partner of ours. We've been doing a lot of stuff with them, and they've been doing a lot of stuff for us. So they're going to be doing a lift kit on the GMC Denali, which is over there. We'll look at it real quick. It looks really dope. Wrap's just about done. You guys saw the process through the last two or three vlogs. It's in the color shift film. Looks really purple, but it actually has a lot of blue in it, right? A lot of blue. There's a lot of blue, but on camera it just shows a lot of the purple. But what we're out here for. Yes, back to it. So Christian and I are gonna go over this thing. I wanna talk about what we're doing. And this is kind of how Christian and I work all the time. We look at a car, we visualize, and we create products for it. And it was brought to me two days ago, completely stock. No lift kit, no wheels, no tires. And now it looks like this, which it looks awesome. If you guys drive Jeeps, you know that it doesn't take much to make them look really cool. And uh, that's no exception here, that's what happens. Uh, one thing I said early on in the vlogs, maybe six months to a year ago, I wanted to start doing more trucks. I wanted to start doing more than just wrapping. And all of these projects are no exception. That's all of everything that we're doing. So we're doing wrap, wheels, tires, lift. We're lowering a Tundra, we're wrapping it, lighting, grill, everything. So it's just cool, you know, as the evolution of premium and the things that we're doing here, once the shop gets bigger, you're gonna see a lot more happening. But for now, we're pretty limited on shop space and size. So with that said, we kind of just focus on what we do and that's vehicle wrapping. But premium 5.0, 4.0, everybody likes to put that like label to it. I don't. Uh, just the evolution of premium as we grow. We're getting ready to go into our next building, which is gonna be massive and it's gonna be fun. And there's gonna be a lot more going on. Let's get to work. We're gonna pull in this thing and we're gonna create some pre-cuts. You guys are gonna see the process. You will see what it looks like now and what it looks like tonight when we deliver it back to four wheel parts. So if you guys, are not familiar with four-wheel parts and you're in Riverside area, four-wheel parts, Riverside takes care of us. So thank you guys. Uh, I like everything that's going, so you don't need me. I'm just gonna put it in your hands and make sure Daniel keeps the camera in his hand and yeah. stays hyped. Yeah. I think you guys could film this whole intro to outro with just this Jeep. Have faith in you. Okay. I still have a vlog to edit, an IGTV video edit, and I still have to film Tundra. Yeah. So Christian, make sure you, him, are hyped, showing everything. Even if you have to do time lapse, and Christian, then, get hyped, bro. <laughs> this will be a day with Christian and Daniel son, Daniel son and Christian, however you want to say it. I am out of here. I have a lot of work to do. You don't need me. Go have fun. Go have fun. We got this. No bumping of the heads happening in this vlog. <laughs> uh, no concussions. No concussions. We're gonna pull in the Jeep. We're gonna get to work. We're gonna let Hefe get in there and stop it. talking. And stop faith. yelling. You guys got it. We got this. Woo! Let's go. Let's do this. All right. All right, so the first thing we need to do is Mitch is going to help us figure out how to get this grill off. But before he can do that, he has to figure out how to open the hood. Dude, the guy at Four Wheel Parts had the same problem though. He really? was like sitting there struggling and he works on Jeeps all the time. I've never worked on a never, never worked on a Jeep? Do you like Jeeps? Yeah. I'm not like an off-road guy, so. I don't, like it's not my thing, but I like them. So there's some other stuff here that's still being uh, done. That's what this is. Things kind of go over to my computer from here, I vector them out, and uh, they become products. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you eat something today? Like, do you eat a watermelon? Bam! Wow! This should be done. I just need Daniel's uh, approval. That's it. You did good. So there's no stretch in the uh, knife, right? I just kind of 
laid it down that was as I went. Good. This car has a little bit of a kink right there, but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay. Okay, so battery died, but uh, I guess I had a good time because somebody just came in that's pretty awesome. It's a person from NASCAR, which is crazy, like crazy, crazy. But they're having a meeting, and it's just right outside this window. You guys have heard of Bottlefield Speedway? And, yeah. I grew up in Fontana. Okay. So I right remember. Right through our backyard. Yeah, I grew up there when I was building it, you know? So it was always exciting. And then I had a soccer team. And we actually were sponsored by the Speedway. Yeah. So we'd go pick up trash around the races. Really? And that was our return. So you know our facility well and, yeah. and the whole layout there and how we work with volunteers groups yeah. and all that. So that's right. cool. Right. Uh, I try comparing our event to, for someone that's never been, think the LA County Fair meets racing. So yeah. Oh, this is a wrap. <laughs> so the name that kept popping up was, was your guy's name, Premium. So I was like, you know, I got to look into these guys. So that's why I was like, we have to go down, sit with these guys, and, and talk to them about you know, what we can possibly do together. You basically set our brand in a nutshell. A lot of guys will come here and say, oh, I know all about you, and know nothing about us. Yeah. You, know, you actually did your homework. You know who we are, and that's really cool. You know, I feel like you know who, how we present ourselves. You know? But yeah, premium, we do focus on putting out good quality content enriched with you know, value in some way, some shape, or form, whether it be a laugh or some educational something with that, or just kind of the young entrepreneurial side of that we all have here, you know? So across the board, the whole staff is that way. Um, from top to bottom, we have a media department, we have our wrap side, we have our online shipping side. And all these guys, they're all young, but they come here and they run their game, they run their side of the business mm -hmm. as if it's their own, you know? Yeah. So that is very much premium in a nutshell. Another thing that I thought about, and this would probably be something that may need to get taken up the ladder, is I want to do a hands-on wrap experience at the show, okay. you know? And that could be the way we brand NASCAR, is we can print a bunch of NASCAR logos on a roll of material. I love the interactiveness of it. Right. Uh, I think that's important. And, and especially for you guys, I mean, I, I know DIY, that piece of it is, is very important. It is crazy in here. The people from uh, NASCAR just left. Um, I guess they're from the Speedway that's close by. It's super crazy. And then this dude from Nike came. Like, it's, I, I can't explain the craziness that's going on, but it, it's really cool. Um, we just <laughs> test fitted, while they were still in the meeting, we just test fitted some of the overlays. We've got to make some size changes. <laughs> Smacked me right in the eyeball, like I closed my eye on it. on the front blinker. Originally this is all clear, so if you go over there you can see it. I wanted to tint it out, see what it looks like. On the other side, we tinted the side marker already and left the blinker clear. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to get the balance, find out what I like better, or we're gonna try to do both and just see what it looks like full stealth. So right now you kind of get the balance of both. The blinker now on this side is smoked, left the orange untouched. You come over here, the blinker on this side is left clear, and then this is smoked. So I don't know, actually this looks really, really good. Now that I'm looking at it, I like that, but let's explore all the options. You guys tell us what you like better. I don't know, I'm kind of, that's growing on me though. All I'm doing is just gonna round it right around the bend. A little bit of heat. What I would say is like if you're DIY at home, uh, just use a heat gun. Torch is a little dangerous if you're if you don't know how to use it. Use a heat gun. Just say that. I, I probably should grab a heat gun myself just for DIY purpose to show you guys. Uh, but all I'm doing is heating up the film enough to bend it around the bend, and you get a real cool look. One thing that I always have to mention, especially on YouTube, because a lot of you guys think you might see a bubble. That looks like a bubble. It's actually a dimple in the light. 
So there's really nothing you can do about those. They're in the light no matter what. So they do get kind of accentuated when you put tint on it, but I still think it looks way better than the bright red that they usually are. Another thing that Christian already installed was this guy right here. This is the reverse light, just smoked it out. So if you look on that side, I don't think it's done. So it's just a clear little block. By putting the smoke tint here, it's very, very easy. It takes a couple seconds and it looks cool. Anybody can do that one. You have the smoke to insert over there and then we did our, our honeycomb and gloss black. I, I kind of dig it, like to me it's something different. You know, it's one of those things when that reverse light's on, it's gonna look pretty cool. So this is the result of eight different variations of the same thing over and over again to get it to look like this. So really happy with it. Link below, because these are definitely on the website now. Listen, go and comment on his vlog, comment premium fam, because he is family, and we're gonna do a giveaway. I don't know what we're gonna give away, but it's gonna be dope. So go to his vlog, subscribe, we'll give something away. What should we give away? But. Wait, what's his vlog though? We got another vlog, <laughs> we got another vlog. What's it called? Cool the cool kids hockey. So listen, he's doing something that we should have did a long time ago. How old are you? Eight. Eight, and you got a vlog already? That's badass. That's badass. Sweet dude. Let's get you some subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> this is family right here. That's what that is right there. So I want to make sure that his vlog blows up and gets a bunch of subscribers. So go over there, comment premium fam, say hello, and check out his hockey stuff. He does hockey, so he vlogs his hockey. If you have kids. You guys know how important how it is to be involved. This guy over here is involved to the max, but he won't get in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the owner of In Focus, though, I'll say that. What's going on, guys? So this is the last and final piece. Yep. What we did was the flag decal, and I think out of everything we did in the car, this is probably gonna be the highlight. Look at how dope it is. So we'll do a quick one more recap because we probably, we've recapped a whole bunch, but there was a lot of cool stuff that was done here. American flag, being the last thing, it's the first thing you guys are seeing, the honeycomb tail lights. So all this is is a satin black film pre-cut with the honeycomb, you know, weeded out and then applied to the light. It gives it a cool look. When the brake lights are on, you get a real cool like honeycomb effect. We tinted all the side markers all the way around. This one here, all the way up to the front. Front side marker along with the front blinker are tinted. Hoods wrapped in satin black. Grills wrapped in satin black. Eyelids are done in satin black. All of these things are super, super easy to do. We spent about a day with the project. This can be done to any Jeep, any color. Time frame wise, I would say project to be here for about a day or two if you wanna get this done to your Jeep. And it's about a $600 project to do everything that we did here. One of the things that I wanna start doing is communicating more clearly what these projects cost. Because a lot of you guys are asking, email us for quotes, and I think we can solve it. Because you know all of this stuff, you may want this whole package. It's about 600 bucks. If you're interested in it, email us, sales at premiumautostyling.com. We're gonna spice up this giveaway because both Throttle and Premium are actively <laughs> pursuing 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and growing. Both of our channels are growing. So he's at about 140, 150, I don't know. He's growing rapidly every single day and that's Throttle. Premium's at 160. The goal is to get both of our pages to 200K. As details progress, you guys will know, but they're gonna spice it up. They're gonna do the Throttle thing. So we do wraps and we're gonna go give away car wrap anywhere in the world. It could be a Jeep, it could be a truck, could be a car, could be a Pinto, I don't care. We're gonna wrap anybody's car, wherever, it at, wherever it's at in the world, all you gotta do is be a subscriber to the channel. Go to the link in the description below. I can't emphasize how important that is. Go to the link in the description below and fill out the giveaway form. I need to know how to contact you if you win. But like I said, Throttle may throw in a set of wheels, tires, and airlift system. I don't know. I don't wanna give too many details. They're still pending, but that's gonna spice it up. Basically, we're gonna give away a full customization where Premium comes out and wraps the car. Throttle does their thing. 
and whatever they're gonna do, you guys will know shortly. So be excited. I'm excited.